Another property about supremum and infimum goes like this. If you have any two bounded functions from the same domain D to range R, such that fx is always less than or equal to gy, when x and y are some points in your domain, okay, then in that scenario, the supremum of fx, fx is something which is always less than or equal to gy. Supremum of fx will always be less than or equal to the infimum of gy. Now, pictorially, if you want to see it, we can just draw it, how it will look. Let's just see. Okay, so here are your values for the functional values g and f. Okay, and this is your x-axis. So Let's try to draw the functions, um, you know, the kind of functions g and f can probably be. So they can be function like uh, g is always greater than, you know, f. So f has to be something below g, right? So now this is g and this is f, okay? This is g and this is f. So the point in the in the statement is that if this is infimum of g, this is infimum of g and um, this looks like the highest point, right? Supremum of f, okay? Then what we are trying to say that this is essentially gy and this is essentially fx, okay? Because these are some different points. These are different points in the domain. This is say x, this is y. Okay, so we are trying to say that infimum of G will always lie above the supremum of F. Okay, because F is always below G. F is always below G and hence this will happen. Let us now try to prove it mathematically. Let us now try to prove it mathematically. So what are we given? We are given G and F, two bounded functions bounded functions such that such that fx is always less than or equal to gy okay and what do we have to prove we need to prove that supremum of f is always less than or equal to infimum of g okay infimum of G. So that's what we have to prove. So let's try to prove it. So let's let's take these two sets. So A is a set of all the functions fx's such that x is in the domain, x is in the domain, okay, and B is the set of all functions gy's such that y is in the domain for whatever x and whatever y. Okay, now, so what do we know from here? What do we know from what is given to us? We know that a is always less than or equal to b. So all the elements out here will be a, all the elements out here will be b. We know that a will be less than or equal to b for any a belonging to the set A and B belonging to the set B. Okay. So, now, so what do we know? We know that in case this scenario happens, then in case this is one set, this is another set, in case each and every element of this set is less than or equal to each and every element of this set, then supremum of A will always be less than or equal to infimum of B. Okay, this comes from the property that we have done previously. I have explained to you properly how this happens. Property number 2. Okay, and hence from here itself you get that supremum of A will be supremum fx okay such that x is in the domain which is less than or equal to um, not supremum it's infimum 
infimum of g by infimum of g by where y is also in the same domain okay so in this kind of a scenario the the, the least upper bound the least upper bound will always be less than or equal to greatest lower bound in case we have functions like these. 